What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Shrama back with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about the brand new Sideshow One Fourth Scale Batman Who Laughs. And I'm really excited about this piece, man. I've already pre ordered it. I'm just going to go ahead and come out the gate with that. But let's actually get into the details and see exactly what we're dealing with. Let's go. All right, so when I first saw this Batman Who Laughs, I'm not going to lie. I was totally blown away. This Batman Who Laughs is freaking phenomenal. Um, starting off with his actual pose, I just love how menacing he looks. He looks like a he looks like a villain. He looks like um, you know he just looks like a threat to to the DC universe. I mean, I mean he just like he looks like he rivals the, the Justice League and Batman himself, and just you know he just he has this presence about him that's just super phenomenal, right? Um, what we're looking at right now today is the exclusive, uh, which is the axe um, in his left hand, and as well as there's another um, head scope uh, with that as well. Uh, the exclusive head scope is him smiling with his mouth closed, and uh, the regular one is him with his mouth open. Now, let's look at his, let's just, I mean, I know we're kind of all over the place right now, but let's just look at his mouth since we're already here. I mean, this... Th they have done something that looks this 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 just captures the Batman who laughs so well. If you just look at his mouth, his mouth, I mean, there's there's no clean red uh, paint around his mouth or what do you, whatever you call it, paint, lipstick, whatever. Um, there's it's not clean. It's very smeared. If you look at his teeth, his teeth look they have orange like just plaque and just craziness all over. It. It just they, his mouth looks freaking gross i mean just plainly put it looks really really gross and i think that's very fitting for the batman who laughs if i saw the batman who laughs in real life this is what i imagine he looked like and this looks freaking great now moving up to his actual um his metal horn piece face plate thingy uh it, it looks very rusted um looks like it's been rained on and used and it's been just just drugged through the mud a lot and i think that it, it gives his face character his head scope is very layered. Now, moving down to his actual torso, um, I really, really appreciate his his costume. Um, it looks just like the Batman Labs. I mean, they did they did a great job. It looks like he, it, I don't know what this is. I don't know if it's dried up blood or is it rust on the metal or whatever it is. But there's like this orange tint on all like over his entire torso um, that I can't really explain exactly what this is. I'm gonna say it's dried up blood because he has blood everywhere on him. But it just looks great. It gives him this depth and this color uh, that just looks freaking great, man. It looks really, really good. Um, moving down to his arms, you have the chains that are hanging off. Um, I'm pretty sure these are going to be uh, chains that kind of just kind of come in the box and you can just, you know, wrap it around his arm and kind of just let it hang. I'm pretty sure that's how it is. It's sort of similar to the Prime 1 Bat Batman Who Laughs. That's uh the same concept i'm assuming moving up to his hands his hands look like like i didn't imagine his hands would look like this i mean there's literally blood on his fingertips and that's just that they, they did such a great job i mean that was just such a cool touch the paint apps on his fingertips looks it just looks the way they did it it looks freaking phenomenal they did a really great job it looks like there's a lot of detail there in his fingers love the black nails um you know they're very bad they give me a very bat vibe which is uh obviously what they were going for love how his cape is kind of flowing there's a movement to it and i think that's really cool um again the boots i mean same thing as the uh as the uh same thing as the torso he has that tin on it and then also too i'm just noticing here going back up just a little bit on his knee there is some uh some wear and tear on his knee and also just a little bit of blood there as well and it's just those little details that make pieces like this, like just over the top. They, they, you know, just gives it those extra brownie points for me. Now, again, moving down to his base, you have what appears to be, um, for me, it appears that he's in the Batcave. Um, this, this looks like a very Batcave uh, base to me. And then on top of the Batcave, right, right below his feet, you have blood that's kind of just spilling over the entire base. And again, it's details like this that make pieces like this like just way cooler than the rest of the rest of the pieces you know so i just i just really like this i just really love the details it's, it's, it's always going to be the small details for me that makes pieces really cool now down at the base lastly love the paint apps of the rock 
Uh, there's some green uh, hue in there as well. But obviously you have Batgirl, you have Robin and Nightwing here in the base. And that just looks, I mean, the face sculpts look really, really great. They did a really, really good job of capturing this piece. Now, getting to getting into a little bit of the, the details here is uh, priced at $5.95 for the exclusive. And I believe it's $5.75 for the collector's edition. Uh, it will be dropping in October of this year. So roughly 10 months, um, roughly 10 months. That's, that's typical. I mean, it's a little bit shorter timeline. Usually we have a full year out before we get a piece, but we have 10 months this time and I'm not complaining about it. Um, it's about 24 inches tall. It's a good size sculpted by Raph Cassetti. He's actually my number one favorite sculptor um, ever. This is, he's my favorite, my personal favorite. So it was a, it was a no brainer for me to grab this piece. So again, I'm really excited, man. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. What do you guys think about this piece? Really, really dope, man. Starting off the year, really, really nice with this piece. But until next time, y'all be good, y'all be safe, and I'll see you next video. Peace.